Hello everyone and welcome to another fantasy match preview. I know I'm doing this after a few days and thank you to everyone who's reached out to me in the last few days with all the support. And before we start with this preview, I want to dedicate this to my grandmother we lost a few days ago, but she leaves with me a lot of learnings and a few that I want to share with you. One is that always keep your work ahead. Whenever I spoke to her, whenever I met her, uh, along with asking me how I am, the first question was how is my work going and how am I actually doing in that field because they get, made a lot of sacrifices for us and I'm only thankful for that. And apart from that, just to have the family together and have that love and bonding always. So we take that with us forever and keep those learnings with us and only pray for her peace and happiness. Sorry for welling up a little bit. But yes, I just wanted to share this before we get to this preview. And I want to dedicate all of these games and the series that we go ahead with to her. And I hope that we can have a really good series and give you a lot of value and content. And on that note, we'll start with our preview. This is going to be for the Sri Lanka game, Sri Lanka versus Namibia. And I have Nikhil Bhai with me today. Yes, thank you so much. Uh... I'm sure your grandma will be very happy, will be watching us and blessing us all the time. And she'll be very happy that you are doing what you love and you have the respect for everyone around you. So that's always good to have. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nikhil Bhai. And thank you for your support too. And we'll we'll start with the preview and we're yeah. very thankful to fan to play too. They're yes. having they're having us on board again for this whole series. And they also have a lot of exciting stuff upcoming for all of you. And before we get to the preview, I want to share one part of that too with all of you. So like you can see, they're going to start their leaderboard soon. And that leaderboard is not starting with the qualifiers. It's going to come up a little bit later. It's going to come up a little bit later with the... I, I don't know why he's uh, laughing out at me. But yes, it's starting from the 22nd. And uh, he'll give you more details because... He's the calf freak, not me. No, but like you get a you get to stand a chance to win a car as well as that. And we've been harping about the fact that you have fan to play with uh, combinational aapko benefits milte, jo aapko aur kisi platform pe itna easily nahi milta. And we've been talking about it since a while. World Cup hai. we know this year has been crazy, and we would want to make the best possible team. I think hmm. both the family is just think on the best platform. Your platform is the best where you can build a team with no one without any one. So that's the yeah, fan to play, okay. which is why we keep doing this with fan to play because that's where you get not just the full innings, you also have second innings, but for leaderboard hmm. to get prizes like a car, you definitely, it is just on the platter. You just have to have the discipline, make rotations and we know the form within gets into uh, and then it's just going to go up. So please try karo. Uh, links up to ke mil jayenge in the description. Try karo app. You will see for yourself how beneficial it is in terms of the combination that you can try out in various uh, kind of games. Right, absolutely. And we're not saying this only because we are bowlers and all-rounders FC, but <laughs> because we feel like that flexibility is important for you even want, yeah. when you want to go ahead and take an extra batter because they even allow yeah. you to go with just two bowlers and then take the extra yes. batter too. So it works for you in both scenarios. And yes, like he mentioned, the refer code is visible on the screen and it's also going to be visible in the description. So you can go ahead and use it right away. And uh, on that note, we'll start with the preview. And before we get to the team, something that is always very important for you to see and something that dictates how you make your fantasy team is the ground conditions because that is what will be the key because if that is not in line with your matchups and with the way you're thinking about the game, then everything else will cease to matter. And we're the, uh, credit to MJ Nodard for getting us this, these ground previews. So the first ground dimensions that we have is for Geelong. And this is where the first two games will be played. Now, this is a unique ground with where your fine leg or third man, based on whether you're left or right hander, is only 51 meters. Apart from that, it's one one side very long and other other parts of it very evened out. So, how do you see this, Nikhil Bhai? How, do you feel like it will like favor any certain sort of bowlers or batters, or it's just going to even out for everybody? Uh, I think this will be very interesting. So, firstly, I'll get the pun out. It is actually G-Long, you see. It is how that is shaped. 
uh, but jokes apart, if you see uh, the intricate boundary, if you want to look at it from one angle, mm-hmm. that's the biggest deep pocket. So maybe whenever we see spinners bowling, they might want to bowl, uh, you know, on middle and leg and try and target having people caught on the leg side. Same is the case with say death overs bowlers. Where it, so you will have to you will see the boundary dimensions. If you see the straight one, hmm. it's very short as compared uh, to the deep pocket. So your line, your execution, it, you may be the best bowler in the world, but the execution on that day on this particular field doesn't go right. You will not. You will end up with zero for forty. So I think, uh, as we always say, first few games, see how things are planning, uh, mm. how teams are planning, how they are using resources. These games, the, these games are best for multiple combinations as opposed to just one small league combination. And uh, apart from them, I think the weather will dictate. I think new ball wickets is something that not a lot of us have thought about in Australia. Uh, we generally associate that with you know pace and bounce, but bounce. Yeah. given the tropical rain that's around, uh, we could see Chris Vokes taking wickets in the second innings. I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> so on that interesting note, and yes, we, if any of you also have seen Pat Cummins preview this ground a few years ago, like yeah. Nikhil Bhai mentioned, there can be pace and bounce, but there can also be a lot of early wickets because there is some green when the pitch is generally fresh. So, it would make for an interesting pitch for you to look at. Then, let's look at our team for this specific game, the part that you guys always await. And uh, first up in the keeping section, we'll go with Kusal Mendes. Any other inclinations for you in this section, Nikhil Bhai, or it's pretty straightforward? No, he's a Kusal pick. Uh, he's in form as well. He's been uh, giving them enough starts. And we saw that in the pre- pre- previous Asia Cup as well. That hmm. when he gets going, so he is your high risk, high reward guy. But the thing is, if he gets into a consistent run, he keeps scoring runs. So that is when hmm. you will want to. And he's somebody who I think personally enjoys uh, two decks. But new ball wickets will come. So that is one, the only concern against him for me that if he's opening, if he gets a very good ball first up, then it's trouble. But uh, I think you'll still want to back him in terms of hmm. informed player rather than have him. Right, especially with the other options not being too tempting, maybe you can see some yeah. or opt for someone like Zane Green if he's opening and if you feel like he's just going to stick it in there. But apart from that, along with bring, being a crucial pick, he's also a Kusal pick for you. So, Kusal yeah. to start the uh, uh, series for you. Then in the batting section, Nisanka and Rajapaksa again both been in hot form. Do you see Asalanka playing this game and do you see him in your team even if he's playing this game? Uh, I think it's going to be a call between him and him and DDS. Uh, mm. I feel if they put Asalanka up, I'm sure teams are going to target them with offspin, which is fair. Mm. Uh, because then we have three uh, in, in the top four predominantly if that happens. Because they also have Nisanka and Kusramant is mm. up. So either they open with one of the lefty or they have three or four. That is something that we need to see. Uh, he also bowls. So then that just adds to his value. But he's hmm. not been in form as much. So then he becomes a very good grand league choice for you. Uh, because he's somebody who I again feel personally that uh, he's very good with uh, on good batting wickets. He has the uh, horizontal bat shots as well. So it's just about getting into the rhythm. So if you feel if Sri Lanka are batting first and you feel that you know he'll come off, hmm. you can take him. Uh, but if not, I think you'll probably have three of the top four and probably back their bowling to do the job. Right, fair call. So, we'll with that, on that note, we'll move to the bowling and then we'll go to the yeah. Namibia players post-picking our Sri Lankan players. So, Hasaranga and De Silva are very important for you and De Silva will also bat top of the order. And in the bowling section, again, Thikshana, now you have one Sri Lankan slot. Are you tempted to go with Chamira because of his lack of form or Karuna Ratne because when bowling first, he can give you value in both departments? Yes, I think that is going to be one call that we have to take purely based hmm. on the conditions. Uh, if they are bowling first and you do hear that there is moisture out there, close your eyes and pick Chamira because he is better suited to those conditions. Hmm. Now, he can bowl and not take wickets and Karuna Ratne may take four uh, hmm. because that is how this year has been. So that is something that's not 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 in your hand. But hmm. traditionally, Namibia will play pace better is what I feel. Uh, hmm. 
Thikshina, uh, Hasaranga is where I feel they'll probably get into a bit of trouble, but conditions will dictate when, who is bold. So I think to begin with, if you feel that bowling first, there is moisture, you want to back Chamira, go ahead and do that. But if you feel that no, uh, because Karuna Ratne also often bowls at the death, if you remember. Hmm. So then that makes it a very different, difficult choice between a power play specialist and somebody who could really take away cheap wickets at the death. So uh, it's a 50-50 call, only for Grand In SL, I'm sure everybody's going to take Chamira. Right, fair enough. So we'll go with Chamira for now and then maybe take a call post the toss. Now we have four Namibian slots and I know David Visa will be in everyone's team along with JJ Smith. Now, how do you approach this? You have filled your two Sri Lankan slots with with batters, two batters. Now, do you want two Namibian bowlers with like Trumpelman of and France or do you want Erasmus because Erasmus can bowl anywhere? Uh, Trumpelman, I'll definitely take. He's my personal favorite if they bowl yeah. first. Uh, I think he adds a very good left-arm value and Usal Mendes has struggled against left-arm bowling mm. right up top. The Trumpelman right up top, that could be a very good matchup to exploit. Mm. Uh, same thing that we saw that in Australia as well. You know, with some guy and everybody, they had some problem with left-arm scene. Uh, mm. Afghanistan also showed that. So, he, I think, becomes a very important pick. Uh, now, here is a call that you have to take between Jay Smith or somebody like an Erasmus or Hmm. A picky uh, or a picky of France, if you feel that Sri Lanka stop order has too many lefties and if maybe are playing uh, an offy, hmm. then the, then how I see I'm going to see this who is likely to bowl four overs. If there are enough left handers up top, picky of France might should at least bowl two three, if not hmm. just one. So then that's when I think I'll probably take a call. Uh, otherwise, you also have a, always have an all rounder option, so you can go that way as well. Or you could take a batter uh, and even that can solve your problem if you feel one of the batters will come off. All right, fair call. So for now, we'll go with Erasmus because we know yeah. he can bowl too and he bowls off spin yeah. at that. So it can be crucial for you. Now we look at captaincy and vice captaincy candidates. So captain for me in this game, I think would be Hasranga. Who do you see as vice captain or any differential captaincy choices for you in this game? Uh, I think David will definitely be a common VC as well. Uh, so, one and two and David being a very common option. I'll be very tempted also to go with somebody like a Thikshana uh, because I do feel Namibia might have some problem uh, countering him, having not faced him enough in the past. So, a combination of one and two and Thikshana, or you could even go with somebody like a Raja Pakshaya if you feel that he'll bat at three and you know, sort your uh, batting problems in a chase. So, of course, you have to depend on what you think is going to happen in terms of your visualization for the game. Uh, last time these two sides met, the one side was out for 90 and Sri Lanka won by you know, 7 wickets. So, uh, a repeat can happen if Sri Lanka start very well. So, yeah, that's how I think you know you can factor out. Then you can always try out the paces as well. If you feel somebody like a Chamira or a Karuna Ratne or somebody else is playing and you feel that they'll do well, uh, and use the conditions to their benefit, then Bilkul, you can go ahead and make those options as captain, vice captain as well. Uh, if you, if we can also have a look maybe at the uh, warm up games that some of these sides played, and then you can right. come to a conclusion that okay, these were the guys who were in form, and uh, maybe you want to go ahead and uh, back them because there is plenty of options in terms of Ben Shikonko, you have Bernard Stalls. Uh, you have Freiling as well, who becomes a very good option while bowling first. He can also contribute a bit with the bat. So, uh, you have plenty of all round options here. Uh, I think a lot will depend on how the conditions are there on that particular day. Hmm. All right. <laughs> but uh, I hope you can hear my audio clearly. Yeah. Yes, yes. We can hear you. I think it's got a mute now. Yeah, sorry. No, we can't hear you now. Okay, I'll just fix my audio. Yeah, it's clear now. Thank you. <laughs> and it's gone again. This is bizarre and 2022 in last 10 seconds. Oh. Uh, can you hear me clearly now? 
Yeah, there's a bit of echo, but this hectic works. And we've lost him again. Start with that. Area. You can hear me clearly now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, cool. So sorry. People are going to think question. people are going to think either both of us are idiots, one of them is buffering and the other is replying late. Or something. Uh, no, something it's just, else is wrong. It's just just bad audio and maybe some twenty twenty two at that. Yeah. Yes. So uh, and we'll just show you the full time more time to yeah. ensure that it's clear to you guys. So in the keeping, we have yeah. gone with Kusal Mendes, three batters, Erasmus, who can bowl a bit too, Rajapaksa and Nisanka. Then your four all rounders, Smith, Visa, DDS, and Asaranga, who will be captain for us. And then three bowlers, Trumpelman, Chamira, and Thikshana, especially if he's bowling first. He's a very good vice captaincy choice. And that sub- sums up the team. Then, Nikhil, but any other closing inputs or thoughts in terms of how this ground will pan Just beginning. Oh, I think conditions are going to dictate a lot. Uh, just to put it out, uh, Ireland lost to Namibia uh, despite not scoring too much. And Namibia won by 11 runs, defending 138. So, conditions are going to be paramount. And hmm. like we always say, Shurvat may investment rukke karna. Dekho hmm. matches kaise ja rahe, kya pattern develop ho hai. And then you can go ahead and you know increase your investment. But what you can hmm. always do is try out the leaderboard contest, try out the mini jails because this is the best time to be in the top top five or top two percent of the leagues because here is where your risk. If it works out, you are going hmm. to have a handsome risk. But after a few games, everybody will know everything. So it's a it's a double edged sword. आपको ये भी याद रखना है कि बहुत लोग भी मस्ती करेंगे, एक्सपेरिमेंट करेंगे। ये साल वैसा रहा है। तो आप आपकी विजुलाइजेशन करो, को बैक करें और कंडीशंस को याद में रखके ही टीम बनाएं। क्योंकि आई थिंक इस वर्ल्ड कप में कंडीशंस हर वेन्यू पे काफी अलग हैं, हर वेन्यू का अपना एक अलग Right, fair enough, and we hope you all have a great first World Cup game. And it's a Sunday, so all the best on setting up your right alarms and waking up on time too. And uh, when you do that, ensure that you download the Fan to Play app and take part in the contest. You can consider this one more week as an extra warm up for you because the leaderboard starts mm-hmm. next week. But yes, yeah. you get the chance to set up teams, figure out conditions in the meantime too. So I feel like that's a good luxury for you. So yep. we hope that all of you have a great game and all the good luck to all of you. Yes, let's start well. Happy winning, guys. Do take care.